you know, there's some bad relationship advice out there, Dante. So after I cheated on my husband, I gave him a hall pass. And even though I knew that that option was put forth in front of me, I knew that wasn't the right choice. Yeah. If I know I also have another option of getting back in the face of God, praying for my marriage, praying for my wife. Here's the thing. Where oh, was boy. God when you were sucking that dick? Yeah. Huh? Was the Holy Spirit with you when you were uh, giving a rim job out there? Where, where was God when you was licking them balls, bitch? <laughs> It's just such some dirtbag shit that just and then to bring God in it as if that that had if he had anything to do with it. Thing is, I know that all these uh, innocent civilians in Israel and Palestine are dying in mass numbers, but the important thing is that God was helping you put that dick uh, right into your slot. It's really she, nice that know, God could. She, you know, she spit on it and yeah. like, so it slid in nicely. Like you, goofy. Like stop. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better you know, there's some bad relationship advice out there, Dante. Some of the worst, and we always try to break it down. I think this is some bad relationship advice. I want you to tell me what you think. Uh, it's a couple here. Well, you know what? I think it explains itself. We'll, we'll check it out here. So after I cheated on my husband, I gave him a hall pass. But here's the reason why I did that. is because I didn't want to take the responsibility of getting rid of all demons that I opened up my marriage to. And usually this is what people do when they cheat. They want their of their spouse to cheat on them back. So it would give them a reason to feel better in some way. But let me tell you, that's the wrong way to do it. It's the wrong way to go about it because at the end of the day, you make matters worse. And even though I knew that that option was put forth in front of me, I knew that wasn't the right choice. Yeah. That's not the way that we try to rebuild a marriage. If you want to stay in a marriage that's still on a downfall mm -hmm. and just ride it out downhill, that's up to you if you want to make that choice. But I was not about to make that same choice if I know I also have another option of getting back in the face of God, praying for my marriage, praying for my wife, and trying to do the things and correct the wrongs that we had that led us into that position. But here's the reason okay. why I here's, did that. Here's the thing. Where oh, was God when you was sucking that dick? Yeah. Huh? Where, where was God when you was licking them balls, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Was the Holy Spirit with you when you were uh, giving a rim job out there? <laughs> the old rusty trombone, raw dogging, was God? Which passage were you thinking about? Listen, oh my she has to be, uh, this is again, a real apology uh, comes, with, um, comes with action. Um, and although I, I don't agree that a hall pass is, so you're going to do what you want to do. Like if somebody's hurt and they want their pound of flesh, Trust me, they're going to get their pound of flesh, whether or not you gave them, gave him a hall pass or not. But this is the whole thing. I, I, I just prayed for my wife. Where, where the fuck was the prayers when you, when she was licking somebody's balls? Like my whole thing with this is it's just so absurd. A letter from balls to the Corinthians. <laughs> balls, Corinthians two, as Trump says, Corinthians two. Um, the, um, Yes, you're right. You shouldn't have a a, a hall pass because somebody going somebody want to knock something down and 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 as because they want satisfaction, they're gonna do it anyway. But the reality of it is the accountability of what you what your what your the apology the accountability of the apology the accountability of the fact that you know that you did something wrong and so you need to be better. Uh, we don't just move on. There's, there's an apology and there has to be direct action and your attitude and who you are needs to be better. The, people make mistakes. Two things that you will always have to do is give forgiveness and ask for forgiveness. That's as long as you're a human being. The, the question is, was this, was, is the constitution of this woman that cheated on this man, is the constitution one of a cheater or was it that there was neglect or this and that? because they surely sound like they was in church together and everything else. And so what was she doing? She was going to church, getting her, getting her lace front and her eyebrows plucked and then sliding off and fucking somebody where? Why, how? What? Like, it's just such some dirtbag shit that just, and then to bring God in it as if that that had if he had anything to do with it as if that was the thing so I'm well playing. you know the thing is i know that all these innocent people are dying and uh, innocent civilians in israel and palestine are dying in mass numbers but the important thing is that god was helping you put that dick uh, right into your slot it's really nice that god could
You know, she spit on it and yeah. like, so it slid in nicely. Like, you goofy cunt. Like, stop with your nonsense. This is like, and then this this kind of, I'm going to go on social media and be the 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 epitome of a great relationship. And this douchebag of an idiot who, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't forgive somebody. I'm not saying you can't forgive cheating. The question is, is the que is the cheating the constitution of an individual or is this just a one off is there because i've seen people do things that i never thought they would do in the in in the context of anything just totally act out of character and the idea is to get on that phone talk to people communicate get in their face and so that you could see what the true nature of their personality is and what their character is so that you're not surprised by what happens or what doesn't happen. And, and, and letting prayer and God take over is a scapegoat, is laziness. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, the, I mean, well, listen, we're both, we're both atheists yeah. here, but the reality is even if you believe in this stuff, you have to put in the work. Just stop yeah. putting it in God's hands like, well, I'm just going to pray harder. Yeah. All right? Like, how, how, how do you not suck dick harder? How about right. that? We could do you got to sit there. That's just ridiculous. I don't oh, yeah. know, man. That's where I, I, I'm at with this. But also, he looks like he's reading a hostage note. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I mean, I, I you know, I knew that it would be a bad idea. Like, sure, I want to get out there and get, you know, it's only fair that I start fucking a little bit, too. But I realized that uh, God would frown upon God, that. Yeah. God. I mean, he seems okay with my wife having done it, but I guess God would frown upon that. Yeah, and this this also happens when you when you got a little bad bitch like that who you think is is uh, is out of your league, or you think is better than you put her on a pedestal, so that now because you put her on a pedestal, uh, you've idolized her, and then she showed you just who she really was. So, if you love what we're doing here. Go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archives starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. I got a video for you, Dante. We're going to, we're going to, this guy's asking for advice if he handled this the right way. He decided that he is not going to pick up this birthday dinner bill. This is a guy okay. here. Uh, I guess he got dragged to uh, the birthday dinner of a girl. Some he was that he didn't want to go to in the first place. Probably, probably. Uh. And uh, I think she tried to stick him with the bill. And let's see how he handled this. I want your perspective. We're both kind of watching this a little bit cold. I okay. want to see what your take on this. If this dude handled this the right way. Was I wrong for how I moved at this girl's birthday dinner? So I get invited via my homegirl to go to this girl's dinner. I don't know her like that. I think I met her once through my homegirl a while ago. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go because you're inviting me. So I go. I get the girl a little gift or whatever. A lot of people showed up for this girl's birthday dinner. Probably over 15. People, they was ordering two and three appetizers, three and four drinks, the best, biggest T-bone steaks with the gold on it and, and this and truffle fries and this and this. Something, I don't know what it was, at some point of the night after, you know, people was, you know, finishing up their plates and ordering their last drinks and stuff like that. I had to go to the bathroom, but something hit me on my way to the bathroom. Like, you know, just stop and pay for your meal. I've never gone to a birthday dinner where there hasn't been a problem with the bill. Almost I, never. I hate doing a fucking birthday dinner, any dinner. I hate doing a fucking multi-person dinner more than like six people or like yeah. a couple's. I'll do three couples total. That's it. And we all break it down into a third. That's what we're uh -huh. going to do. This dude, all right, he's got some instincts. So let's see where he, let's see what happens. He's on his way to the bathroom. Mm. I thought he was just going to walk out. I go, all right. But that's, I guess, <laughs> a scumbag move. At least pay for his meal. No, nah, no. Nah, I like this. I had to go to the bathroom, but something hit me on my way to the bathroom. Like, you know, just stop and pay for your meal. Just, just stop by the bar, pay for your meal, tip out, do that. That's what I did. So by the time I go to the bathroom, pay for my bill, tip out and stuff like that, the waiter is coming around to the table wanting to know how we're going to do the bill because the bill can only get split two ways. And he made that very clear. The bill can only get split two ways. So the girl looks down at the other end of the table where we're sitting and she says, oh, well, two of the guests, they can put it on their car and everybody can cash app them mm -hmm. and they can deal with the bill because I'm not worried about that. I'm the birthday girl. I heard it, but 
everybody around at the table act like they didn't. So after time has gone past, nobody's putting up the card. Nobody is even touched. Nobody even touched the check. Right. So yeah. finally, a dude that was there, he opened it being funny and it was over thirty five hundred dollars. So finally, she was like, all right, well, who's going to um, put down on the bill? So I don't say nothing. My homegirl, she don't say nothing. And then so finally, another girl in the group was like, well, my homegirl, well, can we put it on your card and, you know, everybody just pay you back? My homegirl, she say no. Like, no, um, I'm not really comfortable with that. Da, 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 da. So things are starting to get heated now. There's a, a back and forth going between the restaurant, who's going to be paying, things like that. Yeah. A lot of people are getting frustrated. Things are getting heated. So what do I do? I say, I'm going to be frustrated myself. Together. Because first of all, I'm not about to wait, be wait. sitting Hold in on, a, what was that? A, a wait, that's mustard. Flustered and frustrated. It's frustrated. <sighs> All right, I'll allow it. I don't like it, but I'll allow it. Let's see where it goes. Come on, that's oblivious. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to excuse myself. Get up, leave. My homegirl, because that this is her friend. Yeah. So she's staying trying to, you know, figure things out, stuff like that. Arguing, things like that with people. I'm not doing that. As I'm getting up to leave, well, what are you doing? Well, why are you, how are you leaving? You need to help pay for this bill, things like that. The waiter, before I could even say that, the waiter's like, his bill's already taken care of. He took, you know, he paid his bill and tipped out almost 45 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Everybody's shocked, looking like, I get, I get, by the time I get home, about an hour, I would say later, I get a long text message from my homegirl. I think that, that it was real rude, what you did at my homegirl's birthday dinner. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that type of etiquette came from. Da, 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 da. I texted her back a simple I D C. First thing, there's a certain level of entitlement, and then and the entitlement comes directly from you guys lying. You guys are not being honest. You not you're you're putting up with shit. You're not speaking up and you're not saying the reason why a woman with uh, any group of women would think that you should pay this, you should do this. Why do they think that? They think that because they've done it's it before. Happened before. Yeah, they've done it before. They've gotten away with it and guys gotten tolerate it. And that's why everybody was getting tomahawk steaks and and pictures of margaritas. And mm. because the whole point is we're going to make a shit. Give me, the, give me the good caviar. Give me that Putin caviar. And then you going you gonna try you gonna try and do the shady the shady armatry afterwards <laughs> the shade armatry afterwards because you created a fuck fest you know you didn't have the money thirty five thirty five hundred dollars for twelve people is that was like three thirty thirty six hundred dollars thirty three hundred sixty dollars a person it's ridiculous first of all you talking about maybe they, these motherfuckers are in a late 20s, late 30s, even if they're all successful, nobody's going to split that three ways. $3,500, 12 ways. You're bugging. You're, what you're doing is you're creating a fuck show that you know that, that what people's intention is, party and then leave somebody with the hand. And, and why do women do that? It's because women overall will, they because we do do that. We pay. We step up and we pay. We take they, they're not, women are not held accountable a lot of times. There's this, like what we say is a foodie call. You know, women will yeah. <laughs> go on a date. They get the option of just going on a date, knowing they have no intention of hooking up with this guy. They have no interest in this guy. Don't even like him. Don't even like him. Don't even like him. But they get that option. A guy can't do that. Like, if mm -hmm. I can't just... I've never been able to just go, you know what? I'm hungry. Let me hit up one of these apps that these people, women can discovered. use a, the Tinder app like it's Uber Eats. They could do women, that. Let me tell you something. Women use their vagina like an ATM machine and they don't even let you, they don't even give you the pin number. They, mm. they just fucking let you look at it. You don't even get to look at it. You just dream about it. And then you have no accountability. And then the fact that her girl, it, what's interesting, what's really telltale about this story is that his a girl his girlfriend called you know text him this long message and again this here we're talking about the texting again text him this long message about something that she didn't think was fair right um and mm -hmm. and then and uh, but he, first of all he, he left her there so he didn't have no kind of sexual connection with her there was just like he said it was her home girl his home mm -hmm. girl 
So why even his homegirl is shady? Because she figured yeah. he was going to cover her. Well, I blame I blame him for going in general. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I wouldn't have been involved in that shit. I, we're going to somebody's birthday dinner. Yeah. I, do I know them? No. Then I'm not doing that. No. I, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not hanging out at, at a table where because I know where this is going, and he knew where this is going. Yeah, sure. That's why he paid his bill forty. That's why five minutes. It, yeah. Well, but you could also could have gotten like you could have took that hundred and fifteen dollars and went and spent it on yourself. If, how about how about take that hundred fifteen dollars and spend it on your you and your homegirl and try and get some pussy? Be like, I and and how many guys do we know that would actually stand up and go, I'm not, I'm not fucking your, I'm not going to your goofy party with your goofy friends so they can stick me with the bill. There's a couple of uh, videos. There's another one where this guy, this husband, and his wife went to some like birthday dinner and they wanted the guy. Simply because he was the only guy that he came there with his wife and then wanted him to pay. It's like you you have to be uh, you have to be hold people accountable. And when you're not holding people accountable, especially when we're talking about, you know, men in general, because their their thing is I want to get some pussy. So I'm going to just shut the fuck up and I'm going to put up with it. And then what you're ultimately doing is you're going, I um, there you're going that this behavior is acceptable and it's okay if you treat me like this. She wasn't mad that I left. She specifically was not mad that I left. She was mad that I did not contribute to the big bill. That's why she was mad. She sat there and threw her hands up and would made it very crystal clear that she wasn't going to use her card. But in the exactly. same breath, turned around and was arguing at people about who was going to pay the bill at the table and not once was saying oh i'm gonna pay you back i'll cash out for you let me tell you so my thing is why are you so worried about who's going to pay this bill but at the same time you're not reconfirming anything that you're going to pay them back just like your homegirl okay i don't give a fuck that she's not mad your friendship stinks this bitch yeah. is a, this is why useless. would you even have a friendship with somebody like this is what i'm saying this yeah. is what we were saying earlier about you know we were talking about the on on the Patreon we were talking about that real real friends treat you like friendship they, they they don't fuck you over they don't put you in situations they 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 create the capital that is, that you use for friendship the emotional capital that keeps you out of trouble don't pull me in some shit I mean don't get me wrong if we're in, if you're in a bind everybody gets in a bind but you should have done everything in your power not to put me in a situation where I gotta. Where I, where I got problems, where you, where you a, break my peace. This is not and, a great friendship here. This is He's no. going to figure that out anyway. But, but by the yeah. way, with Patreon, we talked about that on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Manschool202 if you want to uh, enjoy more bonus content like that breakdown we did about being honest in relationships and the value that we talked about. In that all last relationships. Week. In all relationships, not just dating. Uh, but yeah, this, this is a, a, a shitty friend to begin with. First of all, why did you drag this dude into this mess because he has nothing to do with this. It's his fault for going. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, sure. But it's like a court, it's a court thing where you break down. It's like 80 20 responsibility. 20% is his fault for all of this. Right. Uh, but her fault is why are you bringing someone who has, other than she thought he might contribute to this bill because he was a man? Maybe that's the theory I have. Maybe. But this Maybe. seems like a group of people, uh, just based on this story and this dude's description. No accountability. I've seen it. No accountability, a bunch of trash who for one night try to piece it together for this woman's birthday party. Mm -hmm. um, With the intention on getting everything they could get out of it without being accountable. Without for being accountable. Yeah, and I've seen it. I've watched people walk out, get in a fight. I literally saw one woman... Uh, it was funny because me and my girl were having dinner and we, you know, you see the table next to you. Happy birthday. Happy 40th birthday. She's got the stupid tiara on. They, they bring out the tomahawk steak. They got the flames going, the fireworks. Boo, boo, boo. The, the mariachi band is playing. And then you cut to 20 minutes later as we're walking out the door, her screaming at the manager. What is this on my bill? I don't want to pay no gratitude. I don't, I don't, I don't want to pay no gratitude. You're like this. You could see it from a mile away. Like yeah. this, and this happens over and over. Huh. But this always happens on, on with trash people or with garbage people who go out and you you. But you, this is how you know who your friends are and who your friends are not and how they respond to you and respond to real life shit. Because bottom line is, 
somebody who cares about you and is not selfish is not going to put you in that situation. And I but, guarantee you this is not the first indication no, of this. There's no. multiple and it won't be the red last. flags. Yeah. It won't be the last. The, the big red flag is that after you put this video out, she's laughing about it, but going, you know, you could have paid more. Oh, on so that you, didn't, bill. you didn't learn nothing from you this. You learned nothing from this. Put it on your card then. You're not putting it on your card. That that ain't that's not important. So it's just a, mm. just the absurd. And this is the same thing. Uh, like when I do consultations and I'm talking about, I keep getting these these lives where these guys are not talking on the phone. And then they and I go, you have to first thing is to get the girl on the phone to talk to the person. And that's also for the woman, the women that listen, get the guy on the phone because then you could see if he's a creep or not. Yeah, you, you get a real feel of what it is in real time. You understand what the nuance is. You understand all those things. If you don't have those things, you're not not for for the man who's trying to get laid, who wants to get intimate or get me get into an intimate situation. He's not priming the pumps, the intimacy pumps, so that she can feel closer to him. She doesn't know what your voice sounds like. She doesn't know what your cadence is. You know, and all of those when you meet up with those, all of those things can go for shit. The, the, same the style of conversation, how intelligent you are, sure, how sure. how uh, uh, formidable you are, how kind you are. Those are all indications. How creepy you might be. Yeah. 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 But, but and, oh, if, and if you're not a conversation, you don't even know if you're just compatible. How about yeah. that? Yeah. You're just not compatible. You're just not, shouldn't well, be together. Well, it's crazy that guys do that. That's a big thing that you've talked about lately in the consultations, which is the notion of like, again, we the analogy we broke it down to. Imagine you're trying to buy a car and you don't even get in the car. You just look at a picture of the car and go, all right, we're good to go. It's crazy. Yeah. You wouldn't get in there and test drive it. That's what talking is. It's a test yeah. drive of the relationship. It's but a, by the of a lot of things, compatibility, sexual compatibility, intimacy. Do, even do we just, do we have the same interests yeah. as human beings, as two people, do we have interests? And by the way, Dante, you're talking about the consultations. If people want consultations, they can always go to uh, DanteNero.com and click on consult if they want a consultation from you. Or yeah. if you want a consultation from me, you could email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. And these are the type of things we navigate that people don't even realize the mistakes that they're making uh, in the confines of a relationship. So those are always available uh, for you. We got another clip, Dante. You ready for another clip to just... Uh, yeah, I just want to say something. It doesn't sure. get better. Oh, sure. Yeah, it, it does. It doesn't get better. Like if we're starting at a place where there's no respect, no nuance, no, it doesn't get better. So keep that in mind. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Don't forget uh, the Patreon, like and subscribe, hit the bell, all social media, uh, consultations, Dante uh, uh consultations with Gary, uh, with uh, Harry, Jesus, Gary, Jesus. Gary. Guys, we haven't seen each other in a while. It's been a while, bud. It's uh, been uh, a uh, while. <laughs> uh, for uh, Advice from Harry at gmail.com if you want consultations from me. All right. Yo, we love y'all, man. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.